Hey up lads and lasses. Bah, it's bloody blustery outside today. E by gum. Weather's been s all week. How are you keeping? There you go. There's a little bit of Yorkshire for you to start the day. E by gum. Exactly as it sounds. E by gum. Now, you'll have noticed that I don't really have my Yorkshire accent anymore these days. It's kind of disappeared over time because I've travelled so much. But in Yorkshire, where I'm from, E by gum is definitely an expression used by Yorkshire people, Yorkshiremen and Yorkshire women. E by gum, exactly as it sounds, it's just an exclamation, it just means like, I suppose the nearest thing in modern day English would be, what the hell? It just means something bad or good, we use it to show a type of emotion. And then I said, bah, which again is another exclamation that people from Yorkshire say before we say something. E by gum, it's bloody blustery out there today. Bloody, just another, in this case, word that we use to give more emphasis. And then I said the word blustery, which is an adjective, which just means very windy. E by gum, it's bloody blustery out there today. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the Yorkshire lesson for today. Why am I out here in the garden? Well, that's simple. Spring is coming, although the weather is still <laughs> as I just said. But I've got a few things I need to do in my garden to prepare for the upcoming season. What I need to do is turn this compost bin. So turn as a verb, I need to turn the soil, that's this black stuff here, in this compost bin. That's this wooden structure here. So if you have a garden, it's very important that you have good compost. Compost is food for your plants, so you want to make sure that you look after your compost. This compost is actually two years old. Some of this at the bottom has been sitting here for two years. I didn't really use it last year, I've been saving it letting it decompose fully. Decompose is a verb, that's the natural process of something natural, rotting, there's another verb to rot, rotting away and just becoming soil, this brown stuff. I'm using a fork to turn the compost, just like a fork that you would use on the table. And when I bought this compost bin, they provided me with this compost turner noun. But I've got to say, honestly, it's about as much use as a chocolate fire guard. This is a classic expression in Britain. I'm not sure if it's just Northern Britain, but we say something is as much use as a chocolate fire guard, or we could say a chocolate teapot. Well, think about it. If you put warm water into a teapot made of chocolate, it's not very useful. The same if we put a fire guard, which is used to protect us from things coming out from the fire, made from metal usually, if we make it out of chocolate, well, it's not very much use, is it? As much use as a chocolate fire guard. Try to remember that one. That will make you sound extremely native. We take all the waste food from our kitchen and put it onto the compost bin. Um, we use this brown bin, which is provided by the local council. It's called a kitchen caddy. And in most cases, it will go into the brown bin, which is garden waste. But if you have a garden, and you have a composter, like we do, then the best place to put it is, of course, on the composter. So my compost bin is filled with leftover food from the kitchen, leaves which fall off the trees in autumn. I also use a few grass trimmings. They're the small pieces of grass that you're left with if you cut the grass. And then the secret ingredients, well, that would be a small amount of manure. Does anybody know what manure is? Manure is the proper way to say poo. <laughs> Horse poo, cow poo, any type of animal poo is generally good for the garden. Sometimes you can even get some chicken poo, but it's very, very smelly. So hopefully this will be the perfect combination of food for my plants this coming growing season. We'll have to wait and- Bah, it's a bit bloody nippy out there, lad. Put kettle on, it's time for brew. There you go. How is your Yorkshire now? <laughs> If we say nippy, which is an adjective, well, it means this. Noun, nipples. Gets cold, ba ding! Nippy, adjective. So, it's pretty nippy outside today. And they also said, put kettle on. Put the kettle on, let's have a brew. A brew. Yorkshire, or Northern English, or just English, anyone who's English knows, a brew means a cup of tea. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.